the video. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lily Yang here. And I'm Claire Perry. And we just finished a shadow class over here where we're in Green Lake at the Nest Studio. Mm. And we started from a pretty much a beginning place, but we moved on pretty rapidly to some more challenging moves. Pick it up from that. Yeah. So we started off throughout the video, you'll see a lot of things that relate to a pendulum where I step forward and step back. And our first entrance is no different. Mm -hmm. And now uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, forward. Yeah. I step back, up and over. And one, one, two, three, four. Um, as I'm doing that, I'm doing a foot fudge. One, two, three, four, five, five. step one. Or if I forget all of that, or I, one, two, three, four, right foot, right foot, right foot. Right? So I can I can take them a minute to do that if I need to. Follow won't feel a thing. We also did um, an entrance from a little twinkle. We do some side to side there. We had a one, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, four, five, one. Or we go right into it from the from our little twinkle. We had a one, two, three, back, and one. Alright, so those are our, our entrances. Then we also have a couple of exits, a couple of really simple ones. The first one, I'm going to bring her toward the middle. One, two, three, and then up and over. Four, five, six. Not my favorite, but it works. Or I can bring the hand through and just pass the hand four, five, six, one, or my favorite allows us to have a really nice follow turn for the basic. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, catch, and one. And of course, I'm having to fudge my footwork to go back again. Then we also had a couple of variations where we float in and float out. I'm just floating in and out. What's our shadow basic? And in and out. And in and out. I can also bring her to my left side and just do the same thing. Or we'll just rotate it around. If I want her to go back and forth, I'm actually going to dance behind her. So I don't have to flip back and forth here ah. and here. We're going to try to be nice to our lovely flower. I appreciate that. Then we have a simple follow outside turn. It has a really tiny prep. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. From this direction. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. And go forward up and relax for five, six. All right. That is possible to do a double, but I would add an extra pulse. I would keep cranking all the way through. <laughs> all right. Then we had around the world and through the round hole. One of our lovely shadow staples. And uh, one, two, three to the side, four. Cross the back. And one. On the last series of six, I'm stepping to the right, step, step, and to the left. That's going to help bring the follow through. The other piece is I'm paying attention to whichever hand is lowest to be able to lead my follow to the next position. Oh, one, two, three, four. In front, lift, up, right hand, side, right, and, and left. All right, mm -hmm. and then we head through the rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. Very similar, we'll just back up a little bit. I'm gonna use that pendulum again to set my follow going forward. Forward step, step back. And now I've got some really interesting hand things. So I've got my right hand, I'm gonna release the left, off of the hand, and I already have that other hand here. And again, I'm going to step from the right to the left. For the basic. Oh, one, two, three, four. I commit, I tight in, I back, over here, and here. I'm really responsible for creating connection and filling space no matter where I go. I'm always trying to reconstruct that connection with my lead so that they get that wonderful zip. I Connect that way, connect that way. We 
go up and over and right back in the middle. And one of the things I said that we really want to pay attention to is as follows, I'm particularly going backwards, but certainly any other turn, it's just a good idea. Check the mirrors first and then watch and follow as they travel through that pattern. That's going to allow you to adapt where your elbows and arms and what's going to really make that entire move work super well. What, you want us to look at our partners? I do. It's like, ideally. It's, <laughs> it's a plan. That's good. All right, then we have the shadow worlds. Mm -hmm. Those are basically a pivot. Also, starting with basically a pendulum. Very similar. One, two, three, four. I'm going to bring it across. And, and back. Three and one. And I'm really holding off longer than you think. As I'm bringing her across, I'm going to allow her, I'm going to catch that energy, float up and over, and switch the partnership. Doing it in slow mo. I'm going to bring her across, back, through, and flip. We're really riding out count five. One, two, three, four, five, and one, and four, and three. We really talked about follows really keeping their frame through this move. We really want to be stable for the lead, so I'm keeping that personal bubble squish at all times. We're going to, especially through five and six, feel a lot of pressure. We hold tight. Feels really good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we talked a little bit in class about follow dropout. Mm -hmm. In other words, frame actually can work for the leads as well. Where the, the frame is here and then it drops for a second and comes back in. Mm -hmm. Ideally, if the lead is continuing to ask for frame all the way through, the follow is really consistent. It also helps if the lead maintains their frame through that move as well. Sure does. All right. Then we have this little move, mm -hmm. which is basically a swing out, mm -hmm. very similar to a swing out to cross step, where I'm just going to send my follow out, step, step. We both have a bend in our elbows. She's got hers sent so out a little bit. rotating this way just in case we have a turn. And then I'm going to send her back, step, step, and reconnect. Looks like this. And one, two, three, four, and one, and back. And one. And then we had one of, I think this is our favorite move. Mm -hmm. We had some new ones, which is really fun. This was absolutely stolen from West Coast Swing. And I'm going to do it a couple of times and we'll explain it. I'm going to send my follow out, around. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Now, my positioning is super important. I'm going to send the follow out, but as the follow comes through, I'm going to step back, and then I'm going to immediately turn around and go back in advance by six. I'm going to continue to rotate by one and go to a cross hand position. That's going to become my prep. Watch just that much. I'm going to send my follow out, around, and at this point, I would be back in advance, and that would be count one. So in that point, I'm going to continue to rotate my chest until I'm all the way down. <laughs> As a follow, I'm really trying to fill those connection spaces again. Go ahead. <coughs> one, eight, two, three, four. We've got a one fiddle the six, four, five, six. Now as we come into one follows, I'm really rotating and just tapping one because I want to keep that rotation on this side of the connection. This is going to be the primary leading hand to bring it through when leads are really moving their whole chest, keeping their frame in front of them. Two, three. This is very gentle. And there we are. Let's go down line this way. And back. And back. And one, two, three, four, five, and one. All right. Next one. Leads hammerlock. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting over a hole. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Leads hammerlock is very similar to around the world. In front lift. But you never walk the Four, up. five, six. I can finish from this position. Notice my hand is not pulled all the way over. I have it tucked in. My elbow is pushing right. out a little bit. If I want to get out of it, it's kind of nice actually if I put a basic in here. Oh, one, two, three, four. I'm going to come across my bow, up and over, and back in. Really doing a pivot. I can't. 
can't put those together. If I do, I need to move myself a little faster. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Two, three, four, four five, five, six, five, one. one, two, three, four, five, six, and one. Very nice to put a base again. And then we added a little window dressing. Mm -hmm. So once I get into hammerlock, I'm going to take a forward turn. Forward, step, step. The follow is then going to do a forward step, step turn. All right, looks like this. From me, count one. And back we go. Mm -hmm. And you could base it. One, two, three, four. There's a bob. One, two, three, four, four five, six. One, two, three. Four. This side. And one. And four. Again, I'm watching my follow as they turn. I can exit. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Five. Keep going. One, one two, two, three, four. Up and over. One. We're not doing any different turn than we did before. We're just using the fact that the follow is going one, two, three, or four, five, six, to then prep through there so that we can come through back out. Should we show it one more time? One more time. Right, we're going this way. We got it. Yeah. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, and one. Mm -hmm. And then the illusion turn. Oh, let's move. The illusion turn. So, the illusion turn is basically this move without the hand. Oh, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, and one, and four. It's very similar to the around the world, except we're going to add that extra hand in, and this is still the primary leading hand. We come through, prep one, really rotating our bodies together. Quick turn, one up to, as this comes through, this is still the primary theme hand, there's nothing exciting happening here, so we just peck through, we reconnect, and we're there, and we take it to the side. So, it looks like that. In time, time, with the basic, yep, yeah. da, 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 nice quick prep, one, two, three, over to the side, and then it's just around the world from there, left, two, three, right, five, six, go All the same. Side.